Mark the positions of the trussed rafters along the length of both wall plates. Ensure that the two outer trusses are 50mm away from the end of the gable. Marking just one side of the trusses, rather than the centres, will maintain accurate positioning and prevent the marking out being obscured whilst aligning their position on the wall plates. Using galvanised clout nails to secure the truss clips to the wall plate at this stage will enable the trusses to be easily located. It's recommended that the truss clips are fitted at a later stage on larger roofs to prevent damage as the trusses are being positioned. Use a length of longitudinal bracing approximately 22 by 97 mm to transfer the truss positions from the wall plate. Place the first trussed rafter into position and secure it with several clout nails through the truss clips. Check the truss is plumb before securing a temporary brace to the wall plate. Position another truss onto the wall plate before securing the longitudinal brace previously marked out. Secure another temporary brace between the two trusses to allow the original length of bracing to be removed. Place the remaining trusses into position and continue to secure them to the longitudinal brace. Leave the head of the nails proud above the surface of the bracing to allow them to be easily removed upon completion. Secure further longitudinal bracing at each intersection of timber throughout the trusses. These intersections are referred to as the nodes. The longitudinal bracing positioned just below the rafters should have a margin of approximately 25mm to allow for further diagonal bracing. The temporary longitudinal bracing can be removed at this stage. Position and secure the final piece of longitudinal bracing at the apex of the roof. To prevent racking and add rigidity to the roof, diagonal bracing is secured from the wall plate to the top of the roof. It should also be added to the other side of the roof running in the opposite direction. The arrangement of bracing will vary between roofs depending on their size and shape, so it's vital that the roof designer's technical drawings are followed to ensure the most effective structural stability. All temporary bracing on the outside surface of the roof should be removed. The brickwork that extends above the wall plate height at the gable end may require additional support from the roof structure to transmit wind loads. This is normally achieved by fixing restraint straps to the ceiling joists and over the top of the rafters to complete the trussed roof.